Hello, so this video is about explaining why we identify with Christianity even though it is our enemy. It has nothing to do with us or our blood or our folk or Europe. It is completely outside and non-European. It is our captor. It took us over. It conquered us many years ago. So it is called Stockholm Syndrome. Now what Stockholm Syndrome is, as those who are abused tend to adopt the identity of their abuser, the Western world is here to this same psychological disease of shame and self-hatred. There is a well-known stress-induced psychological condition known as Stockholm Syndrome, where hostages identify with their captors. Stockholm Syndrome is a psychological phenomenon in which hostages express empathy and sympathy and have positive feelings towards their captors, sometimes to the point of defending and identifying with them. The bonding, the bonding is the individual's response to trauma in becoming a victim. That's what Christianity does, it made us all victims. Identifying with the aggressor is one way that the ego defends itself. When a victim believes the same values as the aggressor, they cease to be the, they cease to be a threat. Oftentimes, conquered people, after generations of conquest, will adopt the culture and identity of their captors. So, that is explaining the mental problem that is going on to us Europeans ever since we were conquered by the Christianity and became victims and slaves. Because now everything we do, we are a victim. Oh, look at all this is happening to us. We're victims. We're victims. That's all we've been is nothing but fucking victims ever since Christianity has taken over. Because that's what Christianity is. The religion where you are born a victim. You are born into sin. In paganism, you were born with natural programming. You were born to be the very best you could possibly be. And you were never a victim. No matter what happened to you, you did not see yourself as a victim. So, Christianity is victim mentality. And the European people have it really bad. Just like in North America, all the Indians, now they, you see them walking around in Canada, USA, if they're not on the reserve, you know, they dress like, you know, hood rats and they go around or they dress like cowboys, some of them, right? You, you know, I thought that was funny. In North America, you will see fucking Indians and they look exactly like cowboys. Cowboy hat, everything. Driving a pickup truck, right? You know, and they're identifying with their captors. Same with Africans. Look at them. They're no longer tribal Africans. Well, some are, of course, but, you know, now you see cities in Africa and all this other stuff and they're driving cars and they're trying to run their shitty economy business, which they are terrible at. But what are they doing? They are trying to identify with their captors. Even though we basically gave them Africa back, rather than return to their natural state of life, their paganism, what are they doing? They are trying to be us. And of course, that is no good, because they are not meant to be us, and we are not meant to be them. They are identifying with their captors. Same with us. We are not meant to be Abrahamic followers. We are not meant to be Christians. We are not meant to live in cities and live in all this crap. We are meant to live in ethnostates. Because we are identifying with our Roman Christian Empire captors for thousands of years now. Hopefully someday we will get over it. Tschüss.